Now let's talk about color correction. Now we just did this, so there's two different ways we can correct this color. Uh, if you want to do it on the texture, if you're like, you know what, I want to use this texture, but I'm not really digging uh, that color combination. All you have to do is go in here now in ZBrush 2020 and go to adjust colors, and then there's your texture loaded up. Up here, for some reason, you probably don't want to hide colors because that's what we're changing, but you can go in here to hide materials if you just want a nice representation of your texture without having matcap gray kind of interfere with it. Uh, you're going to see hide mask and inverse mask. We're not doing any masking here, so you can ignore that for now. And you can go down and right down here to hue saturation value. You can go through here and you can change the overall hue on all this stuff. So you can maybe, you know what, I want to do more of like a yellow and a blue, and that's actually not too terrible. Uh, you can change the saturation, you can dull it down, you can increase the saturation here, the intensity. And here's tint, so if you go in here to green and then you tint, you can just kind of put a green wash over everything if you'd like. Now here you can change RGB intensity or just red, green, and blue channels. So if you want to crank up those red channels or just the blue channels, you can. You can also change the overall contrast for the RGB colors, or again, just by channel. Uh, you can mess around with the gamma, the gamma, RG, and B gamma as well. Over here, you can do masking selection. So if you want, you can be like, you know what, all the orange stuff or the stuff that's, if I click and drag, it's going to be like, okay, what areas do you want to select? I'm going to say all the stuff that's kind of bright red, go ahead and select that. If you want, you can say, with those selected, now I can just go through, and these are going to act as masks. So you can see I have inverse mask turned on. If you turn that off, you're going to see, and this is where you might want to hide your colors. This is the mask that it's creating. So if I go through here and I drag this tolerance here, I think by default it's set to 30. So you can go through here and be like, you know what, I just want to mask out these areas. I don't want to affect them too much. And if you want to add to this, if you go back to turn off hide colors, like I want to grab all these pieces and all these blue pieces in here. Oops, we're going to grab all these pieces and then all these middle squares you can add to that. So both of these are turned on. Let's go ahead and hide color. So you can see our mask here. Let's go ahead and crank that tolerance down. So here's our overall mask. So now that those are masked out, we can say hide mask, turn on our colors again, and any changes we've made down here aren't going to affect our texture. Now, if you don't like this, you can just go ahead and just turn these off and you're back where you started. So if you hit OK, that's going to update our texture. And now we can go through and we can paint with this texture. So if we hit Z and go over here to texture, add to spotlight, now we have this new texture. Well, adjust the texture out of the spotlight. We still have our old one here too. It's kind of stored in spotlight memory, but now you can go through here and you can paint with this new texture.